So how do we want to talk about this? Oh. Is this recording? Yes, yeah, recording. Oh. Woo! Wait. Wait. Oh Scooch wow, Scooch. that's actually really comfortable. You're like sitting on the and you look silly. Oh. But at the same time, <laughs> you look kind of cool because you got the shades on. Yes. And yes. Like the slick back hair. All right, we have a special guest in today's video. The one and only Oliver El Gore! I was not expecting that intro. <laughs> ah, Oliver El Gore, how yes. are you? Welcome. Mm. Welcome to the channel, Oliver. I am so privileged and honored <laughs> and humbled to be here. Give me, give me. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know, Ollie's like. No one knows who Ollie is. No, people do know who Ollie is. <laughs> a lot of people know who Ollie is, but. He has, uh, he is a seasoned publisher and the most talented, amazing, and obsessed Notorious. copywriter I've ever met. You're honestly obsessed. No, you have a problem. Yeah. Straight up You're obsessed. fucking you're, weird, You're dude. obsessed. You're fucking weird. Sometimes you gotta be weird. Weird people change the world. Wow. That touched me. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Yeah. Cheers, okay. mate. I've got nothing cheers. to cheers you with, mate. Either, it's all good. Either do I. So, yeah, what is it we're gonna talk about in this video? You can see by the title of the video that it's gonna be... Uh, an epic topic, but what is this exactly? I think always straight from your one. straight from your mouth. What yeah. would you say? It's the opposite of everything that anyone else on YouTube is going to talk about regarding this. All right, we're done. No, this honestly, we t we oh. talked for hours yesterday about this. Yes, we this did. one topic and how it applies to us. It's been a eureka moment, yeah. an mm -hmm. epiphany for us, uh -huh. and it's something fucking coined by. Ollie El Gore himself. I'm taking this is not, full this is, credit for this. This yeah. is not a concept 100%. that exists. Inspired by no one. Mm -hmm. This Inspired is not a concept no that one. exists. Yeah. Oh. The reverse avatar. The mm. reverse avatar. So, yeah. a lot of times people will talk about your avatar, which is your perfect customer, mm -hmm. or the perfect person that you're selling to. Mm -hmm. The reverse avatar is the complete opposite of that. Mm -hmm. So, oh. the absolute worst version mm -hmm. of that person. Mm -hmm. In other words, a few of them are watching our video a right few, now. A few, a few of these people are watching the video. Mm -hmm. If you don't do what you should be doing, mm -hmm. this is the person you're going to end up as. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's and I exactly think it's what it is. More powerful and it's, than it's your biggest nightmare. Uh -huh. It's your biggest nightmare, and yeah. it's ten times more powerful than like imagining what your life can be mm -hmm. if you do all the right things, right? Uh -huh. Instead, it's what will you become if you do all the wrong things or you don't take action, right. you don't whatever. Yeah. Basically, if you do nothing you will become your biggest nightmare. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And how yeah. fucked is that if you do nothing? And it's, it's the easiest thing in the world is to do nothing. It's the 99% of people, I would almost say, end up doing nothing about it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it's, it's sad to watch. That's kind of what motivates me a lot. Look, to I'm, help I'm, people I'm, uh, actually do something about things. I'm here to like make what, sure that does not happen to any of you watching this video, oh is that God. you become oh. what we call the steward, which is just... Your worst nightmare. Your worst nightmare, but I don't know if they can, know what that means. Can we means. put up an, inf uh, an infographic of We can Stuart, put up Stuart, yeah. Or do they have to pay for that? It, it's, it's, your uh, it's, it's when you imagine... This is, this is $2,000 worth of info you're getting it, on the screen. For free. <laughs> it's true, it's true. That's well, Stuart. When, when, when you imagine your head, uh, let's say, it doesn't have to be 20 years down the line, but just uh, like the worst case scenario for what your life becomes. Like if you're working a job now and you're going into the office every day or you're going into wherever you work every day, mm -hmm. look at the people who have been there for like 10, 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like who they are, that's what you're gonna become mm -hmm. if you don't change what you're doing. Literally. Because all your problems in life are just gonna amplify mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. And, and you're gonna solidify. And you're gonna become that like worst version of yourself. Because mm -hmm. if your life's perfect right now, then I mean, great. great. Like you're doing what you're doing. Exactly, exactly. But like if, if like elements of your life suck and you don't change them, that suck is just going to get worse. They will never fix themselves. Mm -hmm. No. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. I, I suppose it's a big misconception. They can, things just fix themselves. Mm -hmm. But they don't. They certainly don't. Do not. They just stack on top of each other. And this sore gets infected and worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. It's horrible to think about. No, but it's just so real. It's so, so real. And this for a lot of people, like for me especially, like that's what motivated me to change. When people, when people ask me what did, like Same. what was the turning point for me, it's when I finally thought about what does my future look like if I continue like this? And I thought, no, mm -hmm. there's no that's way. Cool. No, mm -hmm. nope, not happening, mm -hmm. right? That's really what motivated me. I didn't even think about it until mm -hmm. we talked about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's, you know? and it's something that people don't talk about because it's so negative mm -hmm. and like yeah. in a lot of like 
especially in a lot of like self-development things, everything is so like positive, 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 right. like be the best version of yourself. But like for a lot of people, the negative is way more powerful and of an emotion mm -hmm. to like push you to act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like just seeing that worst version of yourself. And for me, like I, I saw it all the time because there was actually a TV show. Anyone, anyone who's British and is watching, Peep Show, Mark Corrigan. Peep Show. That guy was like, if I continued fucking up in life, that was what I was going to become. That's your version of Stuart? That's my version of Stuart. Every person has a different Stuart, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Like, and you but a complete and utter loser. Mm -hmm. And all of your worst traits amplified. Mm -hmm. And all of the things you want to do, you didn't do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, someone else is doing them. Right. So like, the last person you ever want to see. The last person you ever want to see well. succeed is succeeding. <laughs> right. Even with publishing, right? Like I did a ton of books in crypto and investing. The most powerful appeal you can use in any of those is someone else is getting rich by doing this and you're not. Because mm -hmm. for so many people they're like, they see that person, mm -hmm. they know who that is, they have a name for them. Mm -hmm. They're usually the person living next door who's got a slightly better car than them mm -hmm. and they're already a little bit jealous, but now they've got this image in their head that this person's gonna be driving a Ferrari where they're still driving their like shitty Toyota. Mm -hmm. That stuff is so, like that gets people, yeah. that really just like, they can't unsee that. Mm -hmm. Other people succeeding and them not. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. like, it's the most powerful thing. Yeah, And it seems like for a lot of people, not everyone, some people will like do something about it before it gets too bad. But a lot of people, it takes, <clears throat> it takes like an unbearable amount of pain to actually do something about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, and it all don't, the time. don't, don't get to that point because obviously an unbearable amount of pain is something you don't want to experience. Mm -hmm. You see right. it all the time, people go through like massive physical traumas mm. and that's what like makes them change. Mm. But like you can do it before that has to happen. Yeah. If like, you're proactive. If you're proactive about it, you can make a conscious choice to be like, okay, I'm going down the wrong path here. I need to change. But you don't need that like major like physical or emotional trauma mm -hmm. to do that. So when can someone do something about it? As soon as they finish watching this video. Yeah, yeah. that's like that's what you would say. Yeah. Like the best time to do something about it was five years ago. The mm -hmm. second best time was now. Mm -hmm. Like you can't you can't undo the past, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But like what you can change is like what you do like straight away. Mm -hmm. Like not even like I'll do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know when people like diet starts tomorrow? Like nah, diet starts right now. Right now, right? Like mm -hmm. like why why let like arbitrary things prohibit you from actually making change? Mm -hmm. That's why I always thought like New Year's resolutions were complete shit. Yeah. Because like okay, oh, I have to wait so for gay. this. I have to wait for this like date on the calendar. Uh -huh. It, what, what's today like December 6th yeah just December just 6th. start now yeah but it's because it's the civilians of the world civilians of the that world. uh that don't understand this and the civilians are 99% of people the people watching this video some of them might be civilians now uh -huh. but like if you take action that makes that makes you one percenter mm -hmm. because one, one percent of people do something about it mm -hmm. if you want to like break out of this like it's completely possible for you to go from like if you're not if you're not happy with who you are now to where you want to be is, which was all of us oh all yeah of us. so the the uh story Stuart, that you came up with uh you just showed him to us and uh yeah i felt like you were talking about me not mm. who i didn't want to become i was becoming that person already just two yeah. years ago we so like so, we have, all the traits that you saw on that graphic like that was us a few years ago. We have so much to share. People don't understand on, on our this, transformation. On this topic and like our past that I want to talk about completely in a, in a separate video. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Stuart thing, it's, it's just, it's been really emotional for me talking about it. Like realizing where I was and what I could have been and the transformation and how it changed our life. And I just want the same thing for other people, mm -hmm. right? We straight up, we used to be fucking losers. And like, you, you were always saying it, and I was always like, eh, no we weren't. It's because I had trouble admitting it. Yeah. I, I couldn't admit that we were no. fucking losers. I'm finally at a point now where I, where I, am, I feel more comfortable admitting it and uh -huh. talking about it. Yeah. Still, it's something I've really never shared with anyone, even something that I've never shared with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally want to make another video going more in depth about our transformation from where we used to be, even just eight months ago. Yeah, massive amounts of transformation right is possible. You it's, it can it's happen, mind it can happen so quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. A year from now, like you could be, you can be a completely different person, mm -hmm. like a full 180. Yep. Yes. That, yeah. That's happened to me in two years. That's like, like people so, don't know the person I used to fucking be. Mm -hmm. When I explain it, like, no, no you weren't. Like, yes I was. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of people that are watching these videos and they're like, oh, it's the Mickelson twins. Like there's these like, 
amazing guys and they've always been at this like super high level mm -hmm. but it's never like that no there's no. like a, there's a process that you yeah. go through yeah and there's another process that you go through which is where you don't do anything which goes the exact opposite direction and like, you just become the worst version of yourself yeah and like the way i used to think of myself i wasn't just like oh i'm just an average guy i thought i was below average mm -hmm. right and i know a lot of people struggle with this kind of thing mm -hmm. well i don't even know how many people do because it's something you don't really talk about 99 point nine percent of people don't maximize their full potential and uh yolo fucking yolo and yolo so why would you not mm -hmm. fucking yolo like yeah. it sounds like a joke but it's so real it's, it's so true, true. like mm -hmm. sometimes you literally only live once so why would you spend it having a shitty job being a fucking loser being whatever fuck oh yeah another another video i want to make is talking about how like some people have like such big goals and they think that they can't achieve them. Mm -hmm. Because you can't achieve them as the person you are right now. No. You cannot achieve them then. But, but then you take action, you do all these things, you go through a massive, massive self-development transformation. You become a person that can achieve those goals. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to realize. Everyone, that everyone fucking started with absolutely no skills and experience. It's all a, everyone started with no skills and experience. It's all a development process. And you become the person that can do what you want to do. And I truly That's believe anyone can become that person. Realize. There's no one that has, like, I can't be that guy standing on stage talking, why not? Mm -hmm. Why can't you? Mm -hmm. exactly. Like, you understand that some of these people that are the best public speakers, of, I'm just using this for example because it's a living belief I've had for a long time. One year ago, I right? did not think I'd do that. Slowly, I'm being able to think, okay, right? I could be a big time Some of these speaker. guys are like, I'm not, I don't have anyone in particular in mind, but I know some of them were the most socially awkward, inept, like worst Actually. speakers when they, you know, were first getting started. It just comes with time and experience and practice and all that. I think know? some of the most successful people in whatever area of life were once one of the most shittiest people in that area oh, of life. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. Right? They just put in the most work. Because they, they had the most motivation yeah. and like they had gotten the closest to becoming Stuart of everyone else and mm -hmm. realizing, wow, that really is something I don't want. So I'm do everything. To and, not become steward. And I think when you're so bad at a thing and like you then see a little bit of progress, a little bit of improvement, it's really easy to keep going and you want to get better and better. Like, I'm, I'm getting yeah. better, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Let's keep doing this. Suddenly, Fuck, like, let's become the fucking best now. It's not, it's not, it doesn't even become hard anymore mm -hmm. because you have that inherent confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like it's natural, it becomes you. Yeah, it just That's becomes, why I always talk about things being genuine. Sorry. Yeah, like it just becomes who you are. Like, mm -hmm. you start identifying as being successful. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you start doing that, like, you can move mountains like mm -hmm. it's not hard anymore but it all mm -hmm. starts from like getting those like tiny little wins at the beginning mm -hmm. like i remember when i got like a publishing check for 20 dollars mm -hmm. and i was like this is the most amazing thing <laughs> <laughs> like literally it's like 20 fucking dollars uh -huh. that's nothing mm -hmm. but like just having that like oh my god like this book sold yeah like oh i can keep doing this mm -hmm. and now it's like the, the money stacks up but like it doesn't even seem it doesn't seem real almost because it's right. like it just happens yeah yeah and this can be applied to anything in life oh anything anything in life weight loss be going from a fat person to a fit person mm -hmm. in business anything is self-development anything can be developed that's another limiting belief that a lot of people have they just believe some people are born this way other people are born that way yeah but no it's that's not how it is mm -hmm. i mean what i want this video to be is for people to realize that if they're not trying to make a change they're going to become Stuart. the worst thing and you like, could do is do nothing the thought to me of becoming Stuart, mm -hmm. like it drives you more than anything fucking else that is because so i've powerful. been i haven't been there but i've been and i don't know if i've been close but i've like felt i felt that you know you can mm -hmm. feel yourself going down that path yeah and luckily now we're in the exact opposite direction mm -hmm. because we i you know the term i hate the most is probably massive action because it's it's so overused it's so overused it, it has no anymore. meaning anymore yeah. Yeah. but taking massive action uh brings you away from stewart but even just taking oh, yeah. what just taking the smallest action right is better than just sitting there the first doing action yeah there's always a first action so powerful yeah. mate. yeah fuck yeah um for the outro of this video we should just have the stewart infographic so people can really look at it and be like oh, i'm sure a lot of people can see part of themselves in it and it probably hurts mm -hmm. it's not what you want to be because you, you'll die very unfulfilled as a forgotten person as well mm -hmm. so and like just to just to clarify this mm -hmm. not everyone watching this video will have 
everything on that infographic apply to them. Like that's not that's not what this is about. I happen to apply to a lot of them. Yeah, uh, two years ago. Like everything is two years ago. But it's not like this is you. Yeah. Because people are gonna just gonna be like, no, like I'm. Yeah. No, no. It's not. That's not the point of it. No. It's like there are. Create your own steward. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's right. your own steward. Like it's your own version of that. Mm-hmm. You use the weight loss example, right? It's like if you're super overweight now. And you don't do it. You don't change your habits. You don't change your lifestyle. You're just gonna get fatter and fatter and fatter. Yep. And then you're gonna yeah. die in two years. Yeah. And you're gonna die. Yeah. Like that. That's your Stuart. Like it, to me, it's the most. It's the strongest motivator in the world. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Like, and way like, more than like live your dream life. I, right. I, I don't understand how anyone can like imagine a Stuart in the head and then be like, yeah, fuck, fuck it. Let's yeah, just let cool. me just keep on not doing anything about it. That's insane that anyone can think that way, right? Because everyone thinks about the shit they want and the shit they want to do. Mm-hmm. But way but more one percent fucking does something about it. So I mean, this whole concept, we've been talking about the last day or so, and we've oh, so it's we've not applied it to ourselves a little bit, but we've no. more so been applying it to our businesses. It's not been applied to ourselves because like we're kind of beyond it. Exactly. But yeah, we're applying it to our business. I could relate it to myself, thinking back, and now we're using it uh, in our own businesses, in publishing and the YouTube business. Use it, and shit like that. Use it to help change other people's lives. Yeah. So we could maybe make a separate video talking about how you can use it in your business. More so, more so, how can you apply this to your life yeah. and get you to fucking make a change, right? Uh-huh. Don't do nothing. Yeah, that's. Don't that, do nothing. Yeah, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing or you'll regret it. Right. I hope this message got through to everyone because mm-hmm. uh, it's powerful as fuck. Mm-hmm. And it is what made us change our life and honestly took my life from. I've never been like. I've never been a depressed person, but from a life that I really was not enjoying to this. Which honestly, I can truly say is almost I, felt worthless. I can truly say like I, I, I haven't achieved anything I want to not at all. Still just but, getting started, baby. But I'm With living. Everything. I'm living the dream life for myself. Mm-hmm. I can, I can admit that. Mm-hmm. That's fucking insane. Mm-hmm. In less than two years. Yeah. Zero to this. It happens a lot faster than you think. Mm-hmm. It does. It does. Thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Should we put ties on? Yeah. 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 Be more professional. Be more professional. That's yeah. what it is. Right. Son of stress. That's what it all comes down to. Do you have a whiteboard? Yes, you need a whiteboard. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just teach everything. I'll hold a whiteboard. Cool.